Chloe. I just went to my mailbox and I have a little package here. So if you would like to see what's in the package, see me swatch what's in the package, and maybe you take off this makeup and put on a new eye look, then just keep on watching. Okay, here it is, the Nomad Cosmetics Haunted Palette. So this is the Haunted Europe. Here's my little postcard. And here's my little package. So where will we go next? I love Nomad Cosmetics, they're absolutely amazing. So it came in a big silver envelope, it came wrapped in the paper and another envelope silver envelope and then we've got this paper and here it is oh this is gorgeous and then on the back we've got the list of the colors oh very excited so let's take a look at this palette All right. Nails, my friends, nails. All right, so let's do it slowly. So here's the back of the palette. It does not have the colors on the other one, but it basically is just the Nomad Cosmetics Haunted Europe Intense Eyeshadow Palette. Here we go. And, oh, hell yeah. Look at that. How cool is this? Some gorgeous lady. It's a ghost. Excellent. All right, now let's take a look inside. So we of course have the mirror, so don't blind anybody. We'll just cover the mirror. And here is our beautiful palette. And of course, plastic. So just go like so. Yeah, there we go. What a beautiful color story. So I have to be a little mean and bend it back a little bit so I don't have to hold that box the whole time. But there is our color story. So we've got, you know, a few neutral shades. We've got some beautiful oranges, golds, greens, purples. Look at this embossing. Look at spider webs and Look at these headstones. This is gorgeous. Coffins. Hell yeah. All right, so should we give these some quick swatches? Um, not really prepared, so I think what we can do is we're just gonna do them on our arm, and then I've got my glasses on so I can read what the colors are, and then we are gonna go through the colors. So the first one we have is Mary King's Clothes. So, and then this one's got little coffins in it as well. I hate the fact that I'm going to have to um, possibly disturb the pattern, but there we go. So this is our first color here. The second color is called Huska's Husk, Castle. And it's got a castle in it, and it is this beautiful gold shade right here. And there's no primer or anything on my arm and I'm not digging into it. I'm just doing a little rubber around, rubber around the, pal the palette of the pan just to get a little bit of color. But that's what we're looking at there. The next color is called Highgate Cemetery. And then again, that's got um, some headstones imprinted on there. And then let's just pop that one there. So that is the green there. Of course, as we all know, swatches really don't mean a lot. Um, but there we go, that's looking beautiful and shimmery. Then we've got, is this Ola Basquia Forest? Even with um, Bashu Forest? Even with glasses on, <laughs> it's not easy. So this is also a shimmery shade, but it is a shimmery neutral shade. So that's it there. Again, I'm not really good at swatches, but it's just giving us a little bit of an idea there. And then the next one is called Ghost River. This also has spiderweb in it and is very neutral. 
So let's pop that there. So we've got ourselves like a neutral brown. And then the next one, the last on the first top row is Bloody Mary. And then this one looks like it has, I wanna say ravens in it. And then there we go. Oh, that's really pretty. So that's our first row there. Then on the second row, we're gonna start with Boogeyman. This one has um, headstones in it. So this is the second row. Oh, that's really pretty. And then we've got Frankenstein. And this is an orange. And it's just got, um, what's that little, the letter M in it? So there we go, there's Frankenstein. And then we've got Grendel. So let's do that on the next arm here. So there's Grendel. Oh, that's a beautiful green, I love it. Then we've got a big bad wolf, which is a silver, and it looks like it might be Wolfbane is what the photo is. I'm just gonna go over it again. Yeah, that's really pretty. Then we have Krampus, and then that is with a beautiful spider web. There we go, like so. Then the last one on this row is Count Dracula. So we'll just put that one right there. And then that is a neutral brown. So we've got one more row to go. So the next shade is a silver shade and it is called Catacombs. And then we're gonna stick that right there. Ooh, that's really pretty. Then we have Drag's Home Castle, Drag Home Castle. And that's also a very warm brown. Then we have Mary Cemetery. Okay, that's the best name so far. And this is this beautiful green. It goes right there. And then for the last three shades, maybe we will put them on the front of my arm. Yeah. All right, so then I have Black Forest. So that, let's pop that right there. I'm just gonna do, it's kind of like a blue gray. So that's Black Forest. Then we have Braun Castle. Also has that beautiful spider web imprint. So let me just put it on my finger. And then this is a purpley, gray, taupey, purpley, gray. And then the final color is, what's this? Spand, oh, I can't even read that. Spandau Citadel. Okay, and that looks like it have bats in it. And then that's the last color. Oh, and that's very pretty. It's like a orangey brown. So there we go take a little tour of my arms. So this is the palette, the Haunted Europe by Nomad Cosmetics. So are we ready for a makeup look? It's gonna be in three, two, one. Here we are back with makeup all washed off. Got some little horns going and we are going to be playing with our Haunted Europe palette by Nomad Cosmetics. Oh, how exciting is this? I couldn't wait for this palette to arrive. It felt like it took forever. So we are going to start with my um, Kaleidos Tone Activated Face, and then we are going to stick that onto our eyeballs, and then we're gonna start playing with this palette. All right, here we go. So we've got a face on. So let's see, should I go a little bit close on? Okay, I think we're good. All right, so this palette has a great color story. So we've got some 
So we're going down onto this end. We've got more spooky, kind of more gothic-y colors with dark blues and purples. And then we've got some beautiful green ones, which are great for like this spooky season. And then oranges, silver. So you can do all kinds of looks with this palette. So I think for, hmm, let's, you know I am with greens. So let me think on that for a little bit and we're just gonna play with this side for a little bit. I've just got a whack of Morphe brushes here that I've been playing with. Oh look, and then I found my missing eyeliner that I've been looking all week for. I have it in with the brushes. All right, so I'm going to take, just make sure I've got nothing on there. So I'm just gonna take this one. This was part of the product collection. And then we are going to go into, all right, I had all the colors um, in the swatches, but I'm gonna go with this dark blue and then we're gonna put that into the outer corner and see how that looks. So has anybody else got this palette? Are they ready to use it a lot for spooky season? My favorite time of the year. I love Halloween. To me, Halloween is 24 seven. I'm not good at um, Halloween looks per se, but I do love the Halloween eyeshadow palettes. I think I'm going to do a video of, I've done one which was my favorite, um, some of my favorite um, colors that of lipstick and that would be good for the spooky season. And I should do one with my eyeshadows as well because I now have a few um, spooky season related palettes or color stories as well. That would be fun to go over. So now we've taken that grayish blue and stuck that on the outside. And then the next color, I think what I want to do is I'm gonna go, I don't have a plan here, so this is just to test out the shadows and see if they are, if they're good. And I like Nomad, I have two other of their other palettes. I have the um, Orient Express, and then I have the Iceland one, which I really like. And then I heard through the rumor mill, the one palette that they had to pull is the color story is gonna come out under another name for Christmas. I'm pretty excited, because I did want that one, and then I lost out on that color story. So now I'm gonna go into this purpley color on the bottom here. I'll um, rem try and remember to pop the colors in when I'm editing the video. But let's try that. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I just cleaned it off really quick. And then we're just gonna go and do that on here. Because we wanna play with some of the shimmers. But yeah, these are really nice and smoky colors. So where the one is a blue gray, and then this is kind of like a grayish purple. So they go together but they still read slightly different, or at least they do in person. I don't know how much they do on camera. I don't have too much lighting. I just have um, a, a light um, dimmed up a little bit, but then I'm just using this to be on the bottom. Or actually, not really the bottom. I mean, we're gonna put shimmers over top, so I'm just gonna go like so and then I'm going to go again into that blue color and then darken the edge some more. Now I'm wondering should I wing this one out? I think I'm going to do one rounded and one winged out because again we're not going anywhere so why not right? So let's do that out and there we go. This is really really pretty. So now we've kind of got our base done there. Um, let's see here. So I've got two different shimmery shades here. So I think I'm gonna go with that lighter shimmer there and then maybe the silver in the corner. Yeah, let's do that. So I didn't get some spray, so I'm gonna go run and grab that and then just try a spray with the shimmer to see right back. 
Okay, so I thought while I was going to get my spray that maybe we'll do a little bit of a cut crease just so that I can showcase the shimmers a little bit more. So for shimmers, we said we were going to go into this grayish blue shimmer and then this one maybe in the inner corner so let's still go with that at first I thought we could maybe do purple should we do the purple Would that work because I think that looks really nice together this combination here mm. decision decisions actually let's just stick with that let's go safe so we're going to put some on the brush and then I'm going to give it a spray as well. So, and then let's take a look. Yeah, that's really pretty. It's like almost like a pewter color, a pewter color. Mm, that's nice, I like that. I mean, I'm not a Elena Clam. I'm not a Make Me Up Missa or a Teresa Mulhern with um, fantastical looks and things glued to her face. But I do like eyeshadow. So there we go. Yeah, I like that. Just beautiful, like, pewtery color. And then it matches nicely in with the other two that we have on top here and then to the and then to the outer corner. So for the bottom, let's match that up and then we will do the inner corner. So I can take a little bit of that dark blue again and then we're gonna pop that on the outer corner. And of course at the end, we'll clean everything up, put on some lashes, and finish off our face, but for now, that there and then we're going to take a little bit of the blue and that kind of purplish gray up front and there we go and then we're going to take that brush that we used and we're just going to make sure our blend is okay and like I said we will clean it up a little bit when we go to do our base there we go. And then we're going to do an inner corner. And for the inner corner, I wanted to use that silver color. So let's use that silver color right there and then do that for the inner corner. And then we're going to give it a bit of spray. Oh, it looks like I'm running out of batteries too. So I guess we'll change it when I do the next eye. There we go, so that's pretty. It isn't as bright as I thought it would be. Blend that a little bit there. Okay, so that's our eye there. I said we're gonna clean that up a little bit when we go to finish up the base, but for now, Yeah, I like that color color story there. It's pretty simple, like all my looks. Alrighty, so now we I'm going to go and change the battery. Then we'll do the other eye, and then we'll finish everything off, and then we can discuss the palette. Okay. Fresh battery, we're back. All right, so that was our first eye there. We're playing with the silvers and the grays, gray blues. So now for the other eye, I'm very so tempting because y'all know I love the greens, but then I love the idea of kind of that purple, um, the pink there. It's so hard. I only have two eyes and I'm already doing two different looks. Like, come on. All right. Um, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Ah, screw it. Let's do it. Let's do green. <laughs> all right. So we have already primed our eye. It's still all good. 
Uh, maybe just check to see. We don't want to set any more wrinkles. Where's my brush? There it is. Oops. We're doing all right there. All right. So let's go looking at the greens here. So I'm going to take another fluffy brush and then let's take that dark green and we're going to throw that on the outer edge. Right now I'm just going to place some color that is a beautiful green. Oh, I really like it. So let's just place a whack it. Should have probably took a smaller brush to start, but there you have it. So what I will do is, I, so that way I can still use the bigger brush to blend it out and kind of stretch it out a bit. I'm just gonna clean it off so we have no extra pigment on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make it a little bit winged out, maybe a lot winged out, who knows? But let's start with blending it like so and then just stretching it out without any additional color. And then give us ourselves a nice blend with this green. Yeah, this is a really pretty color. I really like that. Then I like all greens. If you're in the green family, you're my color. You know, play. So, let's take, um, do, 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 take this little Morphe brush here. And then I'm going to go into that dark brown shade. One of the one that's a little bit more cool toned. I'm just going to go and darken. Use that to darken out here a little bit. Because there's no black in the palette. I mean, that would have been great. I mean, I know we can't have a black in every single palette. Well, we could. But is that what everybody wants? I don't know. But black or even darker green would have gone really well. But I still love this palette so far. And then I'm going to take that <clears throat> same brush and again we're going to blend this one out. So then we have in the greens we just have one matte and then we have two shimmery ones. So I'm going to assume we want that one for the inner corner and then that one for the majority of the lid. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of that green and I'm just so I can have a complete base. I'm going to put that on the inside as well. Went and bought all smaller brushes. Yeah, they always seem to pull out the big ones. Why is that? All right, and then we're gonna still a little bit out that way. Still a little bit more of that brown. All right, so let's go. And so I'm just using my Kimchi White Concealer. It makes a really good eye primer. So especially if you wanna do a cut crease. So let's do the same on the other side. Let's just start with a little bit. Oh, I'm just going to take this little beauty, beauty bay brush that I have here, and then I'm just going to go and carefully. So there we go. I've got that lightened there. And then again, I'm going to I'm going to take a slightly denser one. I'm going to go again into that green and just tap on the edge. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go into that mid-range shimmer of green. Take that in there. And again, I will um, try and remember to link all the colors on the screen. And I may do some better swatches for pictures as well. So. 
So I didn't think that my arm swatches did quite the palette justice. So I thought I would just take my cool little spider web stencil that I have here and then just swipe on some of the colors. The stencil had more space than there were colors because there's 18. So the last um, five in the palette got their own row. And then I did my favorite green shade. I gave it its own row as well. But this is a better swatch look at the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. Yeah, swatches are never the way to judge a palette. They went on really amazing onto the eyeballs, but I just wanted to show them this way really quick too. There we go. Swatches. Well, that's a nice shimmery green that I'm going to need a whack more. Square brushes. Who's inventing square brushes? I need square eyeshadow brushes. Then I won't drop them all over the floor. Maybe. Maybe it is me. We're talking. I can be a very flutzy if I want to. Or not. There we go. Oh, that's looking better, that second coat. Yeah, this is really nice. See, and I can still do an orange and brown look, an orange and gold look, do some pinks. So those are, I think this is a really great palette if you like these colors stories. So then for the bottom, I'm going to go and repeat. Do, do, do. There we go, I just want a smaller brush. And I'm going to go and repeat the darker on the outside. And then we'll take a little bit of the mid-range shimmer out front. Like so. And then again, some more of the dark green. And I'm just going to put that up there. Wind it out a little bit. Or drag the color out, I should say. There we go. All right, and then let's go over on our lid a little bit, and I'm just going to add a little bit more color because it's feeling like it's a not blending quite. Because I want the shimmer, don't want it to be like shimmer, shh, matte. So I'm going to try because in this side I managed to blend it a little bit better. So I want to try and do the same here. And then maybe take a little bit of the shimmer as well. And it go back and forth just so it doesn't look like there's a line going there. I think that's better. Yeah, I think that's I think that looks better. All right. Now for the inner corner, we were going to go into that lightest green shade. Let me grab a smaller brush. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to give that a spray. The one thing about having nails, it's harder to get shimmers. See, you do that and then you get a big, huge spot of shimmer, but it puts on fingers are always, almost always better than a brush into getting shimmers in the inner corner. Oh, there you have it. Okay, so I made a little bit of a mess, but like I said, we're gonna go and clean that up when we put the base on. Some lashes. But there we go. This is what we've got so far. Oops, the smidge a little closer there. Coming close. They blend really nicely. They're really nice. I like it. That's pretty. Well, I hope I like it. I bought it. I paid for it and waited for it to ship to me. So there we go. All right. What do we think? Good? Okay, so I'm gonna go and put my base on, clean that up a little bit, and uh, yeah, then we can have a chat. Okay, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, bye. Well, I'm 
me know really bye, but we'll be back. And we're back. Here is our finished and final look. Decided to break out a little spooky head piece. Put on Shivers Designs here in Vancouver. Here we go. Popped on some fun lashes. Put on my base, and here it is. So here is our final double eye look <laughs> with the Nomad Cosmetics Haunted Europe palette. What do we think? Fun, right? I think this is going to be the perfect fall palette on its own with some other palettes, the Orient Express palette, the Icelandic palette might even work, or can I sneak in a little Lois Cosmetics? <laughs> they meet me in the underworld. Um, but yeah, this is a great palette. I really like Nomad Cosmetics. They are one of my favorite brands. I would like to have all the palettes if I could, but uh, I'm really happy that I got this. I mean, look at this package. It's so great. And they're beautiful. Like, this is really, really nice. Again, I'm just, you know, a makeup enthusiast. I'm not an expert. And basically monochromatic looks are the best thing that I am good at, I think. But here we go. This is our look. So I want to say that this um, palette is A plus and 10 across the board. Or maybe 9.9, .9, make it a 10 if there was black in there. Just saying. But the rest of it is really, really good. I really like it. So I've been having a good time. So I can't wait to play with it further. This was just a quick first time play because I was very excited that it finally came in the mail today. So if you liked this look, just like this palette. Um, if you'd like to give us a like, comment, and subscribe, or maybe even click that notification bell, it'd be greatly appreciated and uh, it would make me very happy. Um, if not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still discuss makeup. We can still have a gorgeous Halloween looks. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it for me. I hope you're doing fantastic. We have a long weekend coming up here in Canada. I'm very excited. It's Thanksgiving. And then I'm really excited for the American Thanksgiving because that means Black Friday sales. Maybe Nomad has a sale. Mm, I would totally get this palette. Okay, well anyways, um, stop blabbering. That's it for me and we will talk to you soon.